everybody, Marco Carbajo here from businesscreditblogger.com. Today's video, we're gonna talk about how to get cash from business credit cards at 0% APR. We're gonna talk about three powerful strategies. So if you're looking for cash to pull from your business credit cards, this is the video for you to watch. So let's get started. Um, the most important thing before when it comes to getting cash from business credit cards, obviously there's other ways to get cash like a loan or using a line of credit, but if you have business credit cards, even some personal credit cards, uh, this, can, this actual video can apply to personal and business credit cards, but we're going to talk about business credit cards in particular for this particular video. So what do you need the cash for? That's the most important thing. That's the question we ask our clients. Are you, do you need cash to pay your bills for the business? Do you need it to pay an invoice? Uh, do you need to buy some more inventory for your company? Uh, do you need to fund payroll? Uh, so these are all things that most people looking to get cash, that, that's the key question. What do you need the cash for? Do you need to pay a contractor because you're doing uh, a, a fix and flip on real estate? Do you try to pay a vendor, supplier, or another business or another company? Uh, do you need it for closing costs on a real estate deal? Do you need to pay your, a title company uh, in cash? Uh, for your deal or do you need it for down payment for a real estate investment? That's a very popular reason why uh, many investors come to us that are looking for cash. Okay, so this is the most important thing is these these particular questions. What do you actually need the cash for? Because these three strategies we're going to go over are going to accommodate uh, one strategy alone is going to can accommodate all of these except for the last one and then the other two can accommodate this last one down payment for real estate uh, so let's get started with uh, the cash advance this is number one I'm sure you've seen plenty of videos about cash advance and we all know of the dangers of doing cash advance on credit cards but the purpose of this video is to share with you how to utilize the cash advance which is readily available to you from your credit card issuers many of them allow you to do cash advances there's nothing wrong with it they 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 have actual um, uh, cash advance limits on your cards. We're going to get into detail on that in a minute. But the cash advance, the purpose is for you to get cash. Okay, but for you, we're going to share with you how to leverage that that particular feature on your credit card to your advantage, where you can get zero percent interest on that cash advance. And we're going to share with you how to borrow cash from your credit cards for the very least amount of money. Okay, and that's the purpose of this particular video. So you want to pay attention to everything we're talking about here. The, uh, the cash advance basically lets you borrow a certain amount against your credit card's limit. So if you have credit available, uh, you can borrow against your credit card in cash. We all know that you have a credit limit and you can use those for purchases, but the cash advance is you actually pulling cash out. So there's four main things that you, for you to be, as a business owner, to be aware of when it comes to using this cash advance uh, strategy. And we're going to share with you how to do the balance transfer with these cash advances, etc. So number one is your cash advance credit limit. When you get a credit card issued to you, uh, a business credit card, you have your credit limit, right? And that's what you can use for purchases. But there's a separate credit limit that the, the card issuer gives you, which is called your cash advance credit limit. And it's either going to be a percentage of your credit limit or it's going to be a do actual dollar amount that they let you cash advance. So you have to be aware of, uh, aware of that. What is your cash advance credit limit? And what I'm going to encourage you to do is let's say you have, you know, five or, or five business credit cards, five personal credit cards. Just throw an example here is you want to create your own little data sheet for each of your cards. So you know, OK, this card, I have a cash advance credit limit of this. I have a cash advance fee of this. So you need to know exactly what the, the these limits and fees are on each of your cards if you're gonna utilize the strategy. You also wanna know what your cash advance APR is, okay? So that's an actual APR that's triggered on the amount that you borrow against your credit card in cash, okay? Uh, and you need to know number four, which I think is the most important, which people don't do, is your exit strategy. Now, what does your exit strategy mean? When you're going to be borrowing cash against your credit limit, uh, your exit strategy, is, exit strategy is obviously when are you going to pay back that money that you're taking out, that cash? Because, um, yes, we're talking about 0% APR, that's free money, but those periods actually run out. So is your exit strategy, let's say you need $10,000 in cash because you need to do a, a rehab, or you need that cash but you know you're gonna fix and flip this property and let's say in, in six months. So that's your exit strategy. In six months, that's all you need this cash for. You're gonna pay it back and then you're gonna rinse and repeat and do another property, let's just say. 
Uh, but let's say you need this cash to buy inventory. Okay, so what's your exit strategy there? How long is it going to take for you to um, turn over that inventory, to sell it, to get your money back so you can pay back that this cash that you borrowed? Okay, so let's say you need cash for a long term. You're buying, let's say, a, a, a property that you're going to hold for a rental property. So you need $10,000 in down payment money. So your exit strategy, maybe you're going to, you don't expect to pay this back in, let's say, maybe two or three years. Uh, so your exit strategy may be, uh, balance transfer it and ha at zero percent for let's say 12 months and then after that to 12 months you're gonna have to balance the transfer it again to another zero percent uh card that way you're literally never paying interest on this cash that you initially borrowed until you actually pay it off so that you have to know what that extra strategy is okay does that make sense um so this is kind of an example every card that you get has terms and conditions so before you even apply for card they, they do provide these terms and conditions for you so you want to if you're shopping for a business credit card or even a personal credit card business credit card their apr for cash advance is 26.24 percent so what that means is when you pull cash out and now you have a balance from a cash advance on that card they're going to charge you 26 percent that's your cash advance apr Whereas if you'll see up here, it says your APR here on purchases um, is 12 to 21%, but this comes with a 0% introductory APR for the first 20 billing cycles. So, um, But that's there's two different APRs that, that you have on your credit card. You have your purchase APR, and then you have your cash advance APR. So you wanna be aware of what your cash advance APR is. But I'm gonna share with you how to avoid that. Okay, so you don't pay 26%. Um, then the other fees is when you actually do a cash advance, they have transactions fees. And these are one-time fees, but you'll see here if you use a, a convenience check, um, they give you these checks you can write and that's considered a cash advance and you can use the cash whatever you want for. But you'll see here they charge either 3% of the amount that you cash advance or $5 minimum. Then you have a cash advance ATM. So if you go to the ATM, use your PIN number, pull out cash that way, they have a fee there. Uh, so that's where you want to be aware of what your transaction fees are when doing these cash advances. Okay, so how does it actually work? Okay, we talked about the separate cash advance credit limit, which is a portion of your overall credit limit, whether it's a percentage or a dollar amount. So for example, let's say you have a $10,000 credit limit on a business credit card and the card issuer gives you a 50% cash advance limit. So that means you get up to 50% of, your, of your, your purchase credit limit you can do in cash advance. So that would be you have $5,000 available that you can cash advance from your credit card. Okay. Now that this is all provided that, that you have the credit available on the card. So if you spend $10,000 and buy equipment, let's say, uh, and, and you want to want to do a $5,000 cash advance, you can't because you, let's say you, you maxed out your credit limit with purchases. So this is just, I'm trying to make this very, very simple. So, you know, your cash advance is, is taken away from your actual credit limit. All right. So, um, how to initiate a cash advance. So if you need cash, we all know you can, you have a pin number, you can go to an ATM. The problem with the ATMs is, is you have a limit to how much actual cash you can pull out. Now, the purpose of this video for those you business owners or investors is we're going to share with you, you may need thousands of dollars in cash. You don't need $500 in cash or $300. You need $5,000 or $10,000 or more in cash. Okay, so this particular option may not, obviously doesn't work for, for that type of, of cash you need. So that's where you're going to rely on some of these other ways to do this cash advance, which is in person at your bank, by phone, which you can do, or online uh, when you log into your credit card uh, online account, or even the convenience checks that the card issuer provides you convenience checks. Now, the important thing to realize, though, is you have to know how much cash you need. And we talked about that earlier. What are you going to use it for? Uh, what's your cash advance credit limit that you can pull out on a card, right? And now you know all those fees as well. So I'm just letting you know, this is, I'm just kind of giving you like a roadmap so you can map everything out so you know how you're gonna do this. So for example, uh, this is American Express. They don't give percentages, they actually give dollar amounts with these particular cards. So on the Zinc card, they allow you to pull up to $3,000 in cash advance. So it doesn't matter what your credit limit is, they only cap it at this amount of cash that you can pull out from these cards. The green card, 3,000, the gold card, 6,000, platinum card, 8,000, centurion card, 10,000. So if you have any of these American Express cards, this is the amount of cash. Uh, look at your terms and conditions, depending on when you got it, but they'll tell you the dollar amount of how much you could pull out in cash 
against your credit card's credit limit, okay? So, <clears throat> what are the costs involved? And I'm kind of going to give you a, some samples here and the strategy all together here in this presentation. So, uh, the cash advance fee is a flat fee. Uh, it's typically 1% to 3%. Sometimes some card issuers give you a dollar amount when you do a cash advance. So, for example, if your uh, credit card, your business credit card has a 3% fee when you do a cash advance, so let's say you withdraw $2,000 from that card via cash advance, then your fee is going to be $60. So on your credit card statement, it's going to show $2,000 balance plus the 60. So that's 2060 is now going to be the balance on that card if you did the cash advance, okay? Um, now, that's obviously if the credit card has zero balance, okay? Uh, then cash advance APR is going to run 20 to 25%. I shared with you an example of that, the U.S. bank card earlier. But so let's say for this particular example, your business credit card has a 24.99% uh, cash advance APR. So if you pull 2,000 cash, you have 24.99% interest. Now they're going to charge you on that $2,000 and uh, the $60 fee, uh, 2060. Uh, but the, your interest for the month on that cash advance is going to be $41.65 because that's your now annual APR is 24.99% on the amount you cash advance. So that's obviously just one month. What if you're going to carry this balance for six months or a year? That's where you can see the interest can add up and it can get expensive when you're doing cash advances. Okay, that's why people say don't do cash advances. The only reason this strategy that I'm going to share with you works powerfully is if you have to be disciplined and strategic in doing it, okay? So this is not, you. this can get very costly if you don't know what you're doing, okay? So that's the purpose of this video is to kind of share with you how to properly do it if this is one of the strategies you're going to do. I'm going to give you two other strategies that are much easier, okay? Um, now, certain business credit cards, such as uh, Mutual First Credit Union, has uh, a no cash advance fee. They have no balance transfer fee. And the cash advance, when you do it, is the same APR as your purchase APR. So that's where I say you want to look at the terms and conditions of the business credit card or personal credit card that you have. Because every bank has different fees. Some have no fees. Some have no, no uh, like this particular example, they, they have no high cash advance APR you're getting the same APR as for purchases as you do with cash advance. So that's what's really, really cool. And that's why I want to give you this example. Um, now, how to avoid the cash advance APR, okay? Because many of you can probably swallow that small fee of the, the transaction fee of doing a cash advance, but it's the APR if you're paying 21, 24, 25% interest on, let's say, 5,000 that you pull out in cash or $10,000, that can get very, very expensive. So... Herein lies the balance transfer strategy. I'm going to share with you uh, three different ways to take advantage of the balance transfer strategy. Okay, so let's get started. So let me kind of walk you through an example here. <clears throat> In Touch Credit Union has a Business Platinum MasterCard, and they issue credit limits of twenty thousand. and And this is a card you can get for your business. Uh, their cash advance limit is 50%. So they allow you to cash advance up to 50% of your $20,000 credit limit for their business credit card. So that's $10,000 in cash you can get from this particular card. Okay, so let's say you apply for this card, you get a $20,000 business platinum MasterCard with InTouch, and now you know you could do a cash advance at 50%, 10,000 if the if you have zero balance or let's say you have the, the, the $10,000 available in credit. So let's say you need that cash. You just got the card, you cash advance $10,000, you now have $10,000 in your account in cash, okay? And you have a $10,000 balance on this card now because you pulled 10,000 in cash. The fee they're gonna charge you is $35, that's your cash advance fee, that's what they charge. And the cash advance APR that gets triggered from this is 17.75%. So that's not too bad, it's not 25%, but still a high interest rate on $10,000 that you have now in cash. So that $10,000 in cash you now have, you can put it to work. So you might need it for a real estate deal. You might need it for buying inventory, whatever it is. You now have $10,000 in cash, but you have that balance of $10,035. $10,000 is the cash you, you borrowed from this credit card plus the cash advance fee. And it's now at 17.75% interest rate. Okay, so now 
How do you get out of that? How do you avoid this 17.75%, let's say 18% interest on $10,035, okay? So, what you're gonna wanna do, and this is something I encourage you to do before you do cash advance, you wanna have your balance transfer strategy set up prior to actually physically doing the cash advance, okay? So you wanna have this all laid out strategically. Don't do a cash advance and not know, you know where you're gonna transfer this money to to avoid the high interest. That's a big mistake. I think you should, the whole thing I'm talking about here is reverse engineering what you're trying to do. Reverse engineer, you know what your exit strategy is. Now you know you need to do a balance transfer. You know you need to pull cash out. So you're reversing the process. Okay, what unfortunately some people do is they, they don't reverse engineer and they, they just say, okay, I need to get this cash from this card. I'm going to get it. Oh no, I have a high interest rate. Now what do I need? I need to balance transfer this money out, but I'm, I'm already putting this money to work with let's say this this purchase over here etc this cash but i need to get out of this high interest rate what do i need to do? i need to get a balance transfer card or i need to do this and you're scrambling okay so that's why i say it's important to reverse engineer and have a balance transfer card ready to accept this balance transfer okay uh, so um the particular card the strategy is to balance transfer this ten thousand dollars you owe on this this business platinum mastercard to another business credit card that has a zero percent apr period for balance transfers so perfect card this is just an example but this is a true card that has is available as the u.s bank business platinum Mark master uh, business platinum card excuse me visa card has a zero percent apr on the 20 billing cycles on balance transfers and they charge a three percent balance transfer balance transfer fee so that's 20 billing cycles, 0%. The key is though, you have to balance transfer within 30 days of you getting this card. So imagine you get this card, you have your balance transfer card, and then you're ready to go because you already have your cash advance card ready to go. So it's all lined up, right? <laughs> so the rec like I said, the recommendation is to acquire your balance transfer card prior to cash advance. The key though, is you have to make sure your credit limits match the amount of credit and the amount of money you're trying to transfer. So for example, if you have your US business, you have your uh, US bank balance transfer card here that at 0%, you have to make sure you have, let's say the amount of credit available to accept the balance transfer dollar amount. So if you need to transfer 10,000, then your US bank card better have, you know, a, a, a credit limit higher than 10,000 because that's the amount you want to transfer. Okay, if you only get a $5,000 US Bank Business Platinum card and you're trying to cash advance 10 grand, this particular card will only accept five grand. It won't accept 10 because this is your credit limit. You understand what I'm saying? So that's where sometimes people get multiple cards at 0%. Um, that way they could tr spread out that, that balance transfer. Okay, but I'm, for simplistic reasons, I'm just going over this, this, this example. So let's just say you get the US Business Platinum card and you have a $15,000 credit limit on this particular card. Okay, so you have 0% APR for the first 20 billing cycles. You have a 3% balance transfer fee. Okay, so now you're gonna utilize this strategy. You're gonna balance transfer. You've, let's say you now did your cash advance. And now you're gonna on your ITCU Business Platinum card, and you transfer that balance now to your US Bank Business Platinum card. Okay, so now US Bank pays off your ITCU card because they're moving the balance, and you're not paying, you're basically moving money, is what's happening. These banks are moving money. You're not moving it, they are. They're, your US Bank is, is paying off your ITCU Business Platinum card, and it's absorbing that debt. Because remember, at the end of the day, Banks want your debt. They want to, why? Because that's how they make money. They make money on you paying interest. Okay, so, but we're being strategic here because remember, US Bank is hoping you don't pay this off in, in 20 billing cycles. That way, that's where the inter actual interest rate kicks in after 20 billing cycles. But it, it, but you're, at, you're getting free money here for 20 billing cycles uh, of that 10,000. Okay, so imagine if you did pay that off of the 20, you just had interest-free money for 20 billing cycles, which is unheard of, okay? So, I got off track for a second. 10,000 at 3%, which is their balance transfer fee is $300. So that's what it's costing you to move your 10,000 over there onto the US Bank, it's $300, that's it, okay? So now on your new 
U.S. bank card, you have the $10,300 balance. That's $10,000 from the cash you transferred over to, plus their fee, $300. But you have this cash now for 20 billing cycles at 0%. Okay, so your ITCU business plan card is now at a zero balance because you just basically move the money over. And you still have the cash you got and you put that to work somewhere else. So you see how powerful this is? It's you basically borrowing $10,000 cash. Um, and let, let's go over the results, okay? Because it can get confusing if I'm just rambling on here. So sorry about that. You got $10,000 in cash. You paid a $35 cash advance fee from the card that you pulled the cash from. You avoided the high interest APR because you transferred the balance out, which cost you $300 because you transferred it to US Bank. So, and now you have $10,300 balance at your US Bank card, but at 0% for 20 billing cycles. So technically you got $10,000 in cash for $335, provided that you pay this off within 20 billing cycles, you, you, that's like the cheapest money you can ever get. Okay, so I know this is like a very simplistic way of explaining it, but this is actually how it works if you're doing it right. All right, so this is powerful. But what happens after 20 billing cycles? That's when your interest rate kicks in on this 10,300. But remember, every month you're making those payments on this balance to your US bank card balance, 100% of your minimum payment, if you're paying the minimum payment, or if you pay more than the minimum, 100% of it is going towards the principal. There's no interest. So you're literally paying down that 10,300, okay? Um, so at the end of the year, you may be only owing 5,000 at that point instead of 10,300, depending on how much you pay off, okay? So that's why I was telling you that exit strategy is very important. You wanna map it out. What if I paid $500 a month on this for the next uh, 20 billing cycles? How much would I owe after this? Would it be paid off, etc.? So that's where you have to map everything out and be strategic with this, okay? So what if you are, are not in a position to apply for a balance transfer card, okay? Because the example I just gave you is based on you opening a new card with a 0% balance transfer offer, right? What about your existing business credit cards that you have or personal credit cards? What if, how do I get, can I get a balance transfer from, from an existing card or do I have to open up a new card? Well, this is where it gets, gets really exciting because you can integrate all these strategies, not just one of them, okay? Because you can get balance transfer offers on your existing credit cards, okay? You're gonna need to call the request a balance transfer offer, okay? And sometimes banks run promotions, I'll get into that in a second, okay? So the key here is you have to select the right card that has credit available to do a balance transfer. So if you have a $10,000 credit card right now, it's an existing business credit card, and you have a zero balance, or let's say a $100, $500 balance, and you have plenty of credit available, that's a perfect card to do a balance transfer on because you have a lot of credit available. There's, there's little to no balance, right? You, you can't request a balance transfer on a credit card that has a high balance that you owe money on because there's no credit available for them to absorb and pay off a, another card. Okay, so you wanna make sure you to have a card that has credit available. So that's selecting the right card. Also, you don't you want to select the right card where let's say you have a good paying relationship with that card issuer. You paid your card on time, you have a, you've been using the card, great relationship. Um, obviously, you, you, you don't wanna do this if you, if, if, the, if you just open the card and you got a 0% purchase offer, they may be open to giving you a balance transfer offer, um, but you just wanna be selective in the type of the right card that you use call your card issuer and you want to talk to a real person. This is where you're going to let them know. I'm looking to do a balance transfer. I want to see what type of ba uh, balance transfer offers I can get on this card. Um, and, and be sure to know how much money you're looking to transfer because they may ask you, well, how much money are you looking to transfer over? Uh, and, and which card, you know, obviously you're not going to do it right on the spot because they have to give you the offer. Okay. But know at least the amount that you're trying to transfer. Now, keep in mind too, another strategy is, let's say you have a $5,000 or $10,000 credit card, you owe 5,000 on it, you can also request a credit limit increase to increase your available credit before you do a balance transfer too. That's another option. So, when you call a card issuer and they 
offer you a balance transfer offer because let's say you have lots of credit available, you have don't have very much debt on it, and they make an offer, you make sure you understand the terms and conditions of the offer they're giving to you. Okay, and they'll they'll uh, present it to you, they'll email it to you, or they'll put it into your online account so you can see it, your card issuer account, and you can see the offer, but you have to be able to accept it. Okay, so before you accept it, know what the offer is. You know, if it's a, if it's six months, zero percent, that might not be worth it to you. But if they're offering you 12 months, zero percent balance, zero uh, percent APR and balance transfer, that's attractive or 15 months or more. Um, they may have, but they're going to have a balance transfer fee or they may have no balance transfer fee. So those are the things you want to look at uh, what the terms and conditions are. Now, this is another way to get a balance transfer offer is many card issuers run special balance transfer promotions. So you may have particular cards that have low balances and that's more than likely when card issuers will will send you an email or they'll send you an offer uh, via the mail to say, hey, we're offering this promotion for you for 30 days, transfer balance at 0% for 12 months. So for example, uh, here's the Capital One, you get an email, uh, you get 0% APR for 12 months and this is on an existing card. And they say, uh, uh, click on here for to, to, to see this offer and it'll take you to your account and you have to log in. But they'll present this offer to you in your credit card account um, and select the offer if you want and then you can do the balance transfer. So that's ways you can get 0% balance transfer offers from your existing cards. You can call and re request an offer, say you're interested in transferring debt. Because remember, these card issuers, they want your debt, okay? So they'll offer you these, these balance transfer offers if you have the credit available, okay? The second thing is they can run promotions. So let's talk about the second strategy. I just talked about the cash advance, how to utilize balance transfer. Let's talk about an account payable service, okay? Now, we're gonna talk about specifically in this video is plastic. There's other ones like Melio that offer the same type of service. This all boils down to what I talked about earlier is what do you need the cash for, okay? The cash advance is great if you actually physically need the cash, you're not paying someone, you need the down payment or something, you can't pay a title company, you need the cash. But this strategy is ideal if you need the cash to pay someone else, whether it's a title company, a, a business, a vendor, supplier, a contractor, this is your best option because this allows you to do the same thing to pay someone in cash you know, and you avoid the whole high interest cash advance because it's treated as a purchase. Okay, so this is a really popular strategy. You may have already heard of it, but this allows you like services like plastic or Melia allow you to pay virtually any expense using your personal credit card or business credit card. And you're there, they pay the recipient in cash via ACH, wire transfer or check, etc. But your credit card shows as a purchase. So you're not um, absorbing the high interest rate on a cash advance. Very simple, you sign up for free, okay? And uh, enter who to pay, the recipient. You enter the, the amount you wanna pay. Uh, you put your business credit card information for payment and you choose how, the, how they wanna receive the payment. So you're in full control of this transaction. Okay, so this, think about this. This is free to set up. The only thing you're paying is their fee, the, the, the payable services fee, plastic charges 2.85% right now, okay? So that's the amount of cash that you're paying times 2.85%, that's the fee, okay? So we created this link to make it really easy for you to sign up. You go to paybusinessexpenses.com. Let me kind of share this with you. Um, it's really simple, you wanna pay a bill, uh, you, you can add your recipient's information in here add recipient uh, and you can add and link your, your card or bank account um, to, to, to pay. And it's, it, that's how simple this really is. It's, it's, a, it's a no brainer to use this particular service, okay? Uh, now, let me kinda like to rehash uh, earlier, we talked about what do you need the cash for? Well, to pay business bills, pay invoices, all these can be used with plastic, okay? Um, so that's really, really huge. And if you'll see in the down payment for real estate investment, that's where with plastic, you, you cannot pay yourself in cash. So that's the one thing where this particular solution won't work if you need the cash for yourself. You need it deposited into your bank account. Um, then 
this service wouldn't apply. But all these other issues where you may need cash, you can use this service for. Uh, now, let me give you an example. Let's say you need to pay a contractor $10,000 in cash because they're doing work, they don't accept credit card, they want cash, okay? So your contractor is known as the recipient. They're, they're gonna be ones receiving the funds. So remember I talked about how to get cash from your business credit cards at 0% APR, right? So how would this work? So let's say you, you get your Spark Business Platinum card, you have a $15,000 credit limit, you just got approved, okay? And this is a promotion they're running right now. The, the Cash Select card has a 0% intro, intro APR on purchases for the first 12 months. So guess what? This is the card you're gonna use to pay your contractor. You have a $15,000 credit limit, your, your contractor needs $10,000, but remember, this is treated as a purchase. So you're gonna be able to take advantage of the 0% entry APR on that 10,000 for 12 months. Get it? 0% because Plastic is paying your contractor in cash, but it's treated as a purchase on your card statement, okay? So the contractor is gonna receive 10,000 in cash via ACH deposit, which is huge, all right? Uh, so cash paid to contractor is $10,000. You put it in Plastic. Plastic is gonna charge you $285 fee. That's 2.85% times $10,000. Your business credit card statement, your Spark card, is now going to have a $10,285 balance, right? That's $10,000 for the cash that Plastic paid to your contractor plus their fee, which is $285. But you have that balance now at 0% for 12 months, okay? So remember, you also have your exit strategy already laid out so you know when you're going to pay back this balance but 100% of your payments every month until then are going towards the principal. So think about this. You got $10,000 in cash for $285, basically. And you know, it's like almost interest-free money. It's, it's, it's ridiculous, okay? So you wanna make sure, and this is important, be sure to ask your card issuer how the payment will be processed. Now, because Plastic, according to them, this is, this is one of their spokespersons said that if, it's gonna be coded as a cash advance, this transaction, it, it wouldn't be possible on plastic. They would reject it, they'd block that trend, you making this payment. Because some card issuers worried about, well, if I do this, will my credit card company treat this as, as a cash advance? And they haven't had that issue at all with these transactions. So um, plastic says it won't be treated as a cash advance, uh, but you, if you wanna have some peace of mind, you can call your card issuer and ask them, um, or, uh, many credit cards have a function where you can set your cash advance credit limit like you can lower it. Um, so if you want to protect yourself, you can you lower that so that way this wouldn't trigger. But um, be sure to, to not, you know, that's something that plastic, according to them, it won't be a cash advance on your credit card. It would be a purchase, okay? Um, and thousands of people have been using plastic forever. So, uh, and there's also Melio, there's other competitors. But think about it. All these companies, these situations you could pay using plastic and cash. You could pay vendors, suppliers, your office lease. You could pay uh, your, your auto payments uh, for your business, rent or mortgage. And remember, this applies to personal and business. So if you have personal cards, you can use this strategy. But we're talking about business credit cards. So what if you need to make payroll? They, they are, they are, they're they're synced up with ADP. So you actually can pay payroll through your business credit card in cash. Uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, pay contractors, your taxes, your legal fees, etc. So um, that's who can you pay using plastic. The third strategy that I'm going to talk about, and this is really powerful, um, is the cash liquidation service. Now, unfortunately, this is only available to our clients if you go through our business credit card funding. But this is powerful because this may incentivize you to want to go through a business credit card funding because through a, a third party relationship that we have, um, this particular special uh, provider offers cash liquidation service to our clients, our clients who've gone through business credit card funding, which allows you to pull cash from your business credit cards up to 90% of your credit cards limits, 90%, okay, which is huge. And it's treated as a purchase, not a cash advance. Okay, so this that's really powerful. So imagine if you had ten fifty thousand dollars in business credit cards that we acquired for you, just example, you have ninety percent available you can pull in cash if you wanted to. Um, you receive the cash via ACH deposit or wire transfer, 
and the fee is 5%. So whereas plastic charges 2.85%, so for uh, 2%, a little over 2% more, that benefit is you're getting the cash. You don't have to pay anyone. So this is ideal if you need the cash, okay? You want it deposited into your account, okay? But this is available to you if you go through our business credit card funding. And this is a, this is available to you anytime. You don't have to do it right away. So let's say we acquire 50,000 or 75,000 or more in credit cards for the business, for your company. It doesn't mean you have to use cash liquidation. It's just available to you because you're one of our clients. So anytime you want to do it, let's say you find a property in six months or seven months or three months and you need the cash, you take advantage of it. Okay, so which is huge. So let me give you an example. Let's say you've gone through a, uh, our business credit card funding and we've got you three cards. This is just an example. We typically get four cards for clients, but uh, this example, uh, we got one card had a $10,000 credit limit and these only report to the business credit bureaus. They don't report to your personal credit. That's another advantage of, our, of the cards we acquire for you in our, in our funding. Uh, the second card, $15,000 credit limit. And the majority of the cards will come with a 0% intro offer on purchases. Um, so, uh, and, and those, those will range for, for a good amount of time, uh, six months, 12 months, 15 months or more. Uh, but the second card, 15%, 0% APR on purchases for 12 months. The third card, $20,000 limit on purchases for 15 months. Okay, so. Let's say you got these three cards, you went through funding, which takes about 14, 20 days, and you need $10,000 in cash right away for a transaction. You just need the cash, okay? Cash liquidation service is available to you. You're ready to, to, to go forward, and you have these three cards that you just got through our program. So which card should you use? Well, you have the longest 0% APR on purchases is 15 months. You have a $20,000 limit here, so you want to use card number three. So you cash liquidate card number three, you get $10,000, and you receive $10,000 via ACH deposit in your, in your account for the business. Your cash liquidation fee is $500, so that's what it costs you. But that $10,500 balance on that card now is 0% APR for 15 months. Okay, so that's what's powerful about this particular strategy. So this is cash liquidation service. So let's do... A real quick recap, because I know this is a lengthy presentation, um, but we, we're giving you, laying out a lot of information for you. So we talked about the cash advance, which is ideal if you need cash directly to you. You need the cash. You're not paying someone in cash. You need the cash. Where number two, we talked about accounts payable service like Plastic or Melio. That's where you're having cash paid to. So you're pulling cash from your business credit cards to pay someone, to pay a company, to pay a vendor, to pay a title company, etc. Okay. And number three is a cash liquidation service, which again is cash direct to you. Okay. So these are the three strategies that we talked about on getting uh, how to get cash from business credit cards at 0% APR. So for those of you, let's say you say, you know, I love cash liquidation service. I do want to go through business credit card funding with you. Um, the minimum is we'd like you to have at least two uh, credit reports with uh, credit scores of 680 or higher minimum. That doesn't mean you're going to get pre-qualified, but that's the minimum. Um, but remember, if you have revenues coming through, we have other solutions as well. But for business credit card funding, it, it's you co-signing for the business. Your personal credit is going to be a big factor. But they don't report to your personal credit. The cards themselves report strictly to the business credit bureaus. So you're going to order a credit report. You download your personal credit report because we don't do a hard inquiry. Uh, there's no cost, no obligation for a review. Uh, this is just a review. It takes about 48 hours for us to do the review and we call you back or contact you back with the results and give you funding projections if you qualify so you know how much. So when you get your credit report, you're going to go to businessfundingreview.com and that's where you're going to fill out the quick form, upload your report securely there, and then uh, you'll get a confirmation and then we'll contact you with about 48 hours with the results and provide you funding projections on how much we can acquire for you in business credit card funding. So that's for those of you who are interested in us acquiring business credit cards for funding for you so you can take advantage of the cash liquidation service right away once we're done or in the near future, okay? Um, and if, even if you're not interested in cash liquidation and you're looking for business credit cards, that's a great program uh, for building business credit and get access to your working capital. Uh, now, our main website is Business Credit Builders with an S dot O-R-G. Uh, we have a do-it-yourself business credit building platform. So if you're looking for more hands-on, you want to learn it, 
uh, check that out and we have other funding products as well so if you found value to this video please give us a thumbs up um, and click subscribe that way you're always notified when we come out with videos uh, and trading on, on how to build business credit how to maximize your funding potential whether you're a startup company or existing business or real estate investor so with that make it a great day we'll talk to you real soon